What's up, mentorship freaks? Quick little sip. Ready to roll. This is the Mentorship Motivator. Daily, dropping daily bombs for you. Quick little tips on leadership, communication. It could be sales, marketing, whatever it is. Every day, just coming live here just to connect with you. Today, we're talking about leveling up your troops. Taking your troops along for the ride with you. Because you're, you're doing all these groups, all these, right? You're doing all this personal development, all these books that we keep recommending. You're coming to the mentorship workshops, doing other stuff, doing perfect day formula, all this other stuff. And you're just taking your mind and your own personal development to, the, to different levels, to new levels, right? But are you leveling up your team the same way? Are you taking them along for the ride with you? Because you need to level up your team also. You need to, to lift them up with you because you can't grow without growing your team. You're ne it's never going to happen. Your team, it's, it is like, they are more important than your clients. They're more important than any leads you can ever have. You think you need some more leads or more sales or whatever. You don't need more sales. You need to develop your team because that's what's going to lead to more leads and more sales and keeping more of the, the customers you have and making them happier. Because otherwise you're going to have a constant turnover with your team if you're not always developing them. You can't grow without their development. You're you're going to leave them behind. They will be left behind if you if you don't take care of it. And you need to connect with them regularly, regularly with them daily, just like you do your members, right? You do it with your members. You need to do it with your squad, with your troops, with your freaking team. Level them up proportionally. So you're here, right? And, and they're here. And you keep leveling up, leveling up. You keep thinking and growing and growing. And you're reading books and motivation, personal development, sales and marketing, all this shit. And they're just here, left behind. They will no longer be able to even be part of your team. Even if they have potential, they could be awesome people. They could probably do it if you would just teach them, guide them, bring them along for the ride. Are they going to get up to you at your level? Maybe, probably not, probably never. But are you teaching them? Are you doing your due diligence? Are you influencing them to follow you as a leader by teaching them the things you're learning? You need to pay it forward. You can't just learn this yourself and just be selfish. Be like, oh, I can't. Living with a fear mindset that, oh, I can't teach them this stuff because then, I don't know, they're going to go off on their own. They're going to be my competition or they might not be here forever. You can't operate that. Fuck that. Fuck that. You need to think that you're going to, they're in the front lines of your business. You need to help them right now so they can give the best service and results and eventually revenue to your freaking business. Are you teaching them? Like, think about it. Are you teaching your team about the things you're learning? Like communication, like leadership, and all the personal development you do, and emotional intelligence, how to deal with different situations. Are you helping them to become a better expert in their field? Are you investing in them? How to, be, how to become better operators in the actual business that you're in? Are you helping them develop their sales skills, their persuasion skills, their influence skills, everything you freaking learn about? Are you passing it on to your team? And all the way down to like the front level staff, like a front desk or receptionist or whatever else you might have. Are you teaching it to them? Because also, let me tell you this, the things that you learn like in this group, sometimes you might have a hard time retaining it. It's just so much information. And then... So you have a hard time retaining it or doing it yourself, but then you're expecting your team to do it and you didn't even fucking teach it to them. So the best way to learn shit and retain it yourself and be able to use it and implement it is to teach it to someone else. Second you start teaching it to them, you're gonna that shit's gonna stick in your brain so much more and it's gonna help you out. So think about it. If you don't bring them up to that level, they're gonna get passed by. Look at like a baseball season or a football season. They have a spring training every year. They have their core players, right? Every year they invite more people in to compete for the job to take away from those core players. So if you don't develop those core players, if they weren't coaching and training those core players, those people coming in would just fill it in and you'd just be having a constant turnover. Every cycle, every level on your team, which we know is a pain in the ass, it costs more money. It, it costs more money to lose and replace a team member than it does a client. We know that it, it's more expensive to get a new client than it is to retain a client, it goes the same for your staff, probably even more so because the amount of time and effort and training and manpower that it takes to train someone on your staff is crazy. So you need to like mitigate that risk of nonstop turnover by developing your freaking team. Develop them every fucking day. You need to develop them. Teach them like it's your job. You're their leader. Teach them. It's your job to uplift them, to bring them to that next level. You need to prepare them for the next level. You you think you're thinking like 
a year out into the future, three years out into the future, 10 years, you have these big visions. Sure, you could sit there and preach to them and tell them your vision. But if you're not preparing them and actually coaching them and training them and developing them for those future versions of your business, that next level of your business, that they're going to get left behind. And then, I mean, you won't even get to that next level of the business because it's going to be constantly rotating around because you didn't develop them. Now you're going to be coming back down in the weeds to have to train some new people instead of thinking leveling up up here in the clouds. Instead of having a, a, a skyscraper mentality, you're going to be a fucking street sweeper. So you need to level your team up from being the street sweepers so that you don't have to go down there constantly and retrain and do this shit over and over again. It's too, it's too expensive. It's costing you your time. It's costing your future. It's costing you the success of your freaking business. So are you teaching your team and your troops? Are you teaching them about structure and your morning rituals and how you do it yourself? It's not a big secret. Stop trying to keep that shit a secret. It's no big secret. Or your daily routines, how to schedule, how to prioritize and execute, how to communicate effectively and then are you communicating and teaching this stuff to them effectively you're just telling them oh you need to have morning rituals that doesn't mean shit if you're not teaching them how to do it training them on it having a conversation with them helping them to develop it themselves and getting it down because i'll tell you what myself included we are all guilty of this we've all done it we've all been guilty of not doing enough to develop our team and then what happens they underperform we're like oh this person fucking sucks and we fire them because they suck but guess what? They don't suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. That's who sucks. They don't suck. Sometimes they suck. Sometimes they fucking suck. Let's just, let's just be honest. Sometimes they do fucking suck. But in the end, you fire them, but it's usually your fault. It's your job to break through them and, and get their, find their potential. You hired them for some reason in the first place. And of course, we know some people are not going to be a good fit. They're not going to be ready and willing and able, able or capable of the skills and the talent and the growth that we need for that next level, that's fine. Get rid of that motherfucker and move on to the next one. Of course, that's going to be the case. But did you do your job? Did you do everything in your power? Or are you just keep growing and developing and dumping more shit on them and they're getting overwhelmed? You didn't teach them how to deal with it. You didn't teach them how to structure their day. You didn't teach them how to get control of their freaking mind and their body and their health and their nutrition. Yes, that's your job. I don't care what industry you're in. It is your job. To, to teach that discipline and health and nutrition and taking care of themselves of your troops. It's your job. You're their leader. You're their guide. You are their guide. They're relying on you for that. It is your job to do that. And it's your job to break through them in all these areas. Not just professionally, but also personally, emotionally. All these levels, it's your job to break through to them. So they don't get overwhelmed as you just keep growing and learning all this other stuff teach them to prioritize are you preparing them for the growth because your business is just starting you're here now you're making fifty thousand dollars a year you have this team but you like oh shit i need to take it to the next level i'm gonna join a mentorship group i'm gonna go read this book and this book and this book and this book now i'm gonna make five hundred thousand dollars a year but i still have my team who head is still down in the weeds because i didn't develop them with me they're thinking like a fifty thousand dollar company we're a five hundred thousand dollar company so now i have to bring new people in now they're here of course you're always gonna have to get rid of some people at every level we know that but the thing that's gonna make it not so bad is if you just give some of that knowledge, give them some of that experience and expertise, some of that shit you're freaking learning to them and help them to elevate with you because a $1 million business is not the same as a 3 million. It's not the same as a 10 million. It's not the same as a hundred million. You develop as the owner. You need to develop those motherfuckers with you or you're failing them. They're not fucking up. They don't suck. You are failing them. You're like wasting their time and wasting their life. If you don't develop them with you, at least do everything in your freaking power to try to develop them. And then if they can't, okay, cut them loose. Let them go back to flipping fucking burgers at Walmart. But you need to do your work and put your put 100% effort into it. Like in the Marine Corps, if someone fails their rifle range, right? They're going to give them nonstop training to get better at shooting. Because that's like a top priority. Marines, we kill. So they're going to give them, they're even push them back to another group and let them train. They'll give them so many chances to do it. Because many reasons, because they know that that person got there for some reason, they have some potential, but they also know it's a lot more expensive to now start some from scratch than just to get this person up to speed. And then if, of course, if they did everything we can to get their rifles up to speed and they're still failing and the motherfucker can't shoot, then they got to go. They can't be on my squad. They can't be on my team. They can't be on my bus. They got to go. You got to part ways. Doesn't mean they're a bad person. They just ain't the person for you and for your business. That's fine. But did you do your part? 
Did you do your due diligence to get them up to that speed? And again, some won't be ready and willing and capable. That's fine. Get rid of those fuckers. But did make sure you did your part. You develop, develop them with you. They deserve it. They are on the front lines of your business. All this, this, this empire you're growing. They're there. They're down there on the ground level, on the floor, in the trenches with your clients, dealing with them on a day-to-day basis. Clients you never even meet, never even see, don't even know exist. They're the ones dealing with them. You owe it to them to develop them, to the, give them the skills and teach them the skills. Like, talk about your 5%. That is your 5%. That's your 5% of your 5%. That's like your top level tier shit is developing your team, leading your team. That's what you need more than anything else. You're not lacking in probably in sales skills. Of course, we're going to work on that stuff too. You're not lacking in lead generation and marketing. Of course, we're going to work on that too. And we need that. It's fucking important. But what you're lacking more than that is just the discipline and the leadership and the development of your team. Staff development, team development is like your top priority. You're not, you're not operating anymore. You're not doing in the trenches, doing the actual dirty work anymore. It's your job to develop those people that are doing the dirty work. So there it is, your mentorship motivator for the day. Develop your troops. Level up your troops. Make it happen. You are fucking awesome. I will talk to you later. No excuses.